A St. Norbert College professor has made a significant discovery that dates back almost 100 million years. Rebecca McKeon discovered a dinosaur-like creature in Utah while working on her master's degree in geology. McKeon has not only named her discovery, but her work is now published in a journal of her peers. Fox 11's Eric Peterson brings us a closer look. It was a prospector's tip that brought Rebecca McKean to this remote section of Utah. And on her first dinosaur dig... But wasn't sure, you know, how much there was. It could have been just a couple pieces of bone or it could have been a whole skeleton. The master's student struck geologic gold. It's Dolichorhynchops trapicensis. That's a mouthful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. So it's a, it's a type of plesiosaur. McKean says it's like a short-necked Loch Ness monster. It was about 15 feet long, had a huge head, tons of really sharp teeth, and it swam around in the oceans at the same time the dinosaurs were walking around on land. But this was no ordinary fossil. As McKean and her crew processed the site, she discovered distinct features in the teeth and backbones. The prehistoric animal was 7 million years older than she originally had thought. It's about 92 million years old. McKean got to name her discovery, and her work is now published in Cretaceous Research, a scientific journal of her peers. So it's really exciting to look at something like this that's 90 million years old and be able to tell the story of this one individual animal. Like, how did it get there? How was it preserved? How did it die? News of the find has spread throughout the scientific community. At Green Bay's Neville Public Museum, director Rolf Johnson says the discovery is significant. It re reawakens that awareness that new discoveries are being made and it reawakens the awareness that there are places like the Neville Museum where you can learn more. Meanwhile, McKean is back at St. Norbert College. The student, now teacher, says it was all in the name of science. You know, it is exciting to name something new. I'm really proud of that accomplishment, but it's also just seems it's just what I do. Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. McKean says her, her new plesiosaur is on display at the Museum of Northern Arizona in Flagstaff.